Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Kurt trailer hitch cover. So with these trailer hitch covers, um, you know, it might be a couple of different reasons you wanna use it, early set, I would. Uh, probably the main one being the appearance. So if you happen to have a trailer hitch that's well used, like ours is, and it's not the easiest on the eyes, and you, you, know, you don't really wanna look at it, this could be a solution for you. You know, it covers all that up and it keeps it out of sight whenever you're not using an accessory or pulling a trailer around or whatever the case may be. Uh, something else in theory too, it should help with is keeping the hitch in better condition. So if you have a newer trailer hitch and you wanna try to prevent stuff like this from happening, getting uh, some corrosion buildup there and stuff, um, using something like this should help keep it sealed and keep all that moisture and debris from getting inside there in the first place. The cover is going to be made from rubber, so you're not going to have to worry about this getting corroded or, or beat up or anything like that. And it's going to work with the 2 inch by 2 inch hitches, uh, which is probably the most common size hitch out on the road. So it'll work with a ton of different applications. Um, and the way it works, is it's a friction fit or a press fit. And there'll be some little ridges, you know, on each side here. And it pushes into the receiver tube opening and it's a good tight fit. Um, I can personally attest to the fitment of these styles at least. Um, my father and two of my brother-in-laws uh, got the e-trailer hitch covers, which are extremely similar. Um, and they've had them for probably a couple years now. They run through the car wash, you know, going down bumpy roads and don't have any issues with it falling out. I'm sure it does happen, but uh, with this style, even if it does happen, it's not really a huge deal because there's a rubber, a piece of rubber that goes around the collar on your hitch here. And so it'll keep the cover connected to it. And so if you don't want to have to worry about losing this or anything like that, when you are ready to use your accessory, you know, you can leave this on, put your ball mount or your bike rack or whatever in here. This will stay with the hitch and, you know, it's easy to keep track of that way. Something you do need to think about, though, uh, which might be a pretty rare occurrence, but it does happen. Since this part does go around the receiver tube, you're going to have to have a little bit of space in between the end of it and your safety chain plates or loops, whatever style hitch you got. Because like on our Hummer here, for example, if you tried to put that around it, it wouldn't work, right? Because the safety chain plates are in the way. Um, like I said, pretty, probably not a, a super common occurrence, but it does happen. And so if this is how your hitch might be set up, there's other options. You know, there's a the trailer cover I mentioned earlier that doesn't have this uh, loop strap around it. And so you can still use this and cover up the hitch. Something I do want to mention, I've seen covers similar to this in the past. And one thing I've noticed with, with some of them out there is the part that's actually connecting this loop here to the cover is sometimes really thin, almost like a third of this size. And if you figure out this is a type of cover that you want, but not necessarily this exact one, my advice would be to find one that has a good thick strap like this one does and avoid the, the real thin ones because those thin ones have a, you know, they're way more likely to end up getting weak and breaking and kind of defeating the purpose of having this loop strap here anyway. Um, and I really don't see that being an issue with the curd, at least not for a long time. You know, it's really thick. Um, uh, you know, in width and the actual thickness there, and so it should hold up pretty good. Ultimately, not really a whole lot to it. So if you're looking for a way to keep your hitch a little more protected and looking better, this could be a good solution for you. But with that said, I think that'll finish up our look at of the Kurt 2 inch by 2 inch trailer hitch cover.